Hello everyone, here in this video, I am going to show you that how you can create a product slider in your Shopify store. So this is also called as collection, uh, featured collection slider. So on my screen, you can see that I have multiple products which are sliding and these are auto sliding. And we also have the option of uh, arrows where you can click and uh, slide it. And uh, this is looking more beautiful. In the previous video, I have also created a video related to video slider, which are auto playing. And uh, uh, I have already given the link below in the description. So I have also created one more video related to pricing table. We have images slider, we have testimonial slider and then collection slider. So in the upcoming videos, I will be also uh, uploading more videos. So for now, let's see for this uh, product slider. So in the mobile view, if you will see, so it is also looking more beautiful. Let me refresh it. And now you can see that only single products is appearing and you can slide using arrows or maybe it is auto sliding. So the first thing yeah, that uh, I'm going to do here is let me delete this and uh, let me show you step by step that how I did this. So let's go back to the dashboard and here you can see that I have uh, these three dots. Let me delete the code which I have already created for that. So here we have product slider. So let me delete this and let me go back to the dashboard. So now from here you need to start. So the first thing is that if you have any theme, so you can implement this feature because this is applicable for all those themes. And second thing is you need to click on these three dots and duplicate this theme because if you are creating any problem or something happening, then you can roll it back to its original version. All right. So once you are duplicating it, then again, you need to click on these three dots and click on edit code. And here you can see we have multiple folders and files. And one more thing is that uh, if you will refresh this page again, you will no more able to see that product slider because I have deleted the code as well as deleted that section. So now we need to click on this section, click on add a new section. And here you need to write uh, uh, product slider, product slider, or maybe you can also call it uh, featured collection slider. And once you are uh, clicking on done, then you will see that we have some code inside of it, which is default code. So you need to select it and then delete this, that code. And then after you need to paste the code, which I have already attached. So basically I have written the code. I will be adding the link below in the description. So ju you just need to copy that code uh, and then paste it inside of this empty file. And then after you need to click on save. So I have added all those required settings uh, to create this section. So let's go back to the dashboard again and click on customize. So inside of this customization, you will see that on the left hand side, we have the option of add section. You need to click on that and then you need to search here slider. And then you can see that we have featured collection slider. So just click on that and then on the right hand side, you need to select that collection. So for example, I am dealing with new arrival. So all those products are displaying right here. If you want to change this uh, title, you can also change it uh, with the uh, product slider maybe. So if you want to make it left aligned or right aligned or center, so you can change. And if you want to reduce the size or increase the side size or make it, keep it medium, then that is also possible. So you can also make it full width so that uh, the space around should be reduced. And then after we have one more setting, which is important one, like uh, right now we can see only four products. If you want to make them three, so that means only three products will be visible here. And if you want to make it uh, more, you can uh, display more. And on the mobile view, I can only display one or maybe you can increase it to two because right here in the mobile view, you can see only one product is displaying. So if you will uh, make it two, so two products will be displaying like this. So for now, I am keeping it one. And then after you can actually uh, update this uh, product image ratio if you want to make it circular. So that is also possible if you want to make it adopt uh, to image. So automatically the image according to the image size, it will adjust the sizing. But for now, I am uh, going to keep it uh, portrait. And then after you have the option of autoplay. So you can keep it autoplay uh, enable. So in that way, automatically it will be uh, sliding and after uh, 6000 milliseconds. So right here I have added a standard uh, time. You can increase or decrease. I mean uh, 6000 millisecond means six seconds. So you can inc increase or decrease according to your requirement. And then we can also change the background color. So for example, I'm adding this. Uh, you can add any other color also. And then we have the uh, spacing 
here you can see we have section top padding and section bottom bottom padding so from uh, top and bottom you can actually increase the spacing like this and then we have the option of arrow background color so you can see that we can change the arrow background uh, color and then we have arrow shape square or circular so right now i have added circular so if you want you can make it square also then we have product title and price alignment right now it is center if you want to put it in the left or maybe right so that is also available all right and then we have product title font size so right now it is 16 if you want to increase it so you can see that this product title size is updating all right and then we have the last option of adding shadow so around these cards you can also see uh, the shadow so let me save the changes and let's see the preview now so i have refreshed it and now you can see that we have this uh, product slider and uh, you can slide it and uh, it is actually auto sliding and if you want to use the arrows then that is also possible so this is looking more beautiful than before and uh, you can also implement the same feature into your store if you have uh, needed any help or you are stuck somewhere so you can ask me i will help you out in that i have already added the contact details below in the description so you can message me i will help you out in solving all these issues if you have any new store to create or maybe you have a custom section to create or any new style to design so i am happy to help you out in uh, uh, creating all those stuff and for video slider i have already added the video for pricing table images slider testimonial slider collection slider there are multiple things which i have already uh, created so you can actually go through the uh, you, my youtube videos and you can uh, get the solutions for the problems so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel also like this video you can also follow me on instagram facebook and tiktok you can also join a whatsapp group and if you want you can also join the youtube perks where uh, where i am giving the free consultation to my uh, subscribers so that is also helpful for you if you need any support related to uh, discussing about your store and all so thank you so much once again see you in the next video